But back to the storyboard, um, so, yeah, I smashed my fingers behind that wooden door really, really bad, and, oof, the screaming I did, oh my goodness. Anyway, the, 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 the moral to the story is that I met my one friend who happened to be Muslim, and he invited me to his house, and, well, after he heard what happened, he felt really bad. And his parents invited me over, and, you know, they were very kind people. Again, they were Muslims. I do believe they were the Middle Eastern kind. Not terrorists, but really good people. Very, very peaceful individuals. I get tired of people saying, oh, Muslims are terrorists. No, 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 they're not. No, they're really not. Muslims are actually very peaceful. They just get a bad reputation because of Al-Qaeda. Who's a terror? Who's a terrorist organization from the Middle East that act as Muslims? It's like hypocrites who act like Christians. It's just, it's just like a bad mixture. Only thing with Muslims that's kind of wrong is they don't believe in Jesus as the Son of God. And ever since they found out about slavery and all that, that done made them kind of racist. But can you blame anyone for that, really? You learn too much about one race's bad decision-making towards yours, it'll make you a little sour, but it's just to help better people. That's all it really is. You know, God don't let you figure out anything. Well, he knows it's going to make you react, but still it's like, do not be evil when you figure things out, because trust me, God had to see his son get murdered. Didn't turn him evil. Please remember that. His son literally came down here 11 times and got murdered 11 times. God never turned evil, so humans need to handle things a little bit better. Really. And God has to see evil be done in his eyesight all the time. He don't turn evil, so y'all might want to get a little bit better with that. But anyway, um, so personally... Yeah, they fed me, were really kind to me, didn't judge, all that, and yeah. And the crazy thing is, their food was really good, like really good. And they welcomed me in, you know, asked me to take my shoes off, I respectfully did that. Asked me, you know, how am I doing in life, is everything okay, anything you need help with? And I was like, um, no, ma'am, no, sir, but, you know, thank you for inviting me over there. And I went back over there a couple more times. They were very peaceful people. Very. And that's how I learned about Islam and very nice, you know, individuals. No, no, no problem. And I do believe they were, um, lighter complected from the Middle East. But I'm just saying that because it matters for some odd reason. I don't know why, but it matters. But, yeah, and then that's when I, uh... Then years down the line from that is when I had my one friend whose name I won't mention. But he was a, um, well, I'm going to just keep that part until I get to the story. So anyhow, um, moved over there, met him, met his cousin, they was cool. And, I, you know, we was kind of like homies or brothers or whatever, hang, hung around him. And then one faithful day he came to me and said like, uh, Matthew, I gotta tell you something, and it's not to be disrespectful, but, uh, you know, it's just something that has to be said, because we've been, you know, cool for a while, so it's time to let you know what's up, I'm like, I'm like, wait, what do you mean, let me know what's up, and he says, well, my mom been seeing us hanging around, and she told me to tell you that until you become a Jehovah's Witness, that we can't be hanging around anymore, we can't be friends no more, I was like, I asked him why not, and he's like, well, because technically since I'm Jehovah's Witness and you're not, she doesn't want me getting, what's the word he used? Oh, yeah, misled by your sinner ways and your sinner beliefs and all that, so unless you become Jehovah's Witness, we can't hang out no more, and you can't come over to my house anymore. I was like, hold on, so if I don't become a Jehovah's Witness, I can't be your friend anymore. Yeah, and then he explained to me that their beliefs are they can't play sports, they can't believe in no other religions, they can't do anything, they can't celebrate holidays, they can't have no type of fun unless it's with their own, like with people with their own beliefs. I'm like, 
So basically, you just lured me in to be your friend just to try to get me to join your religion. He's like, yeah, sorry for the deceit, man. It's kind of how we do things. If I just straight up told you I was religious, I don't think you would have wanted to be my friend. I was like, really wouldn't have made me a big difference. You know, it's just part of life. And if you would have just kept it real with me, I probably would have joined it. So then he told me like, well, I mean, if you want to start coming to the Kingdom Hall, then, you know, that's cool. But if you don't, then we can't hang out no more. I was like, this is really annoying, but okay. So then I was real hyped about it because I'd never been in a religion. So it was like first time and for everything. So then I got real dressed up and since, oh yeah, here's another part that was weird to me. Um, since technically I wasn't a Jehovah's Witness, his mom told me that he had to, he had to walk me down to their kingdom hall because she can't drive me because I'm not in their religion, so I can't be in their van. I was like, so because I'm not in your your beliefs, your mom can't drive me. And he said, yeah, because she doesn't want all, she doesn't want Jehovah punishing her for, how you say, um, mingling with a sinner. I was like, okay, yes, interesting. No hate, but interesting. So we got down to their Kingdom Hall, which was very nicely taken care of, and you know it says Kingdom Hall because there's a big sign that says Kingdom Hall in front of the building. I was like, this is different. This is very different. So we go in there, it's all quiet, and people sitting in one room talking about, you know, Jehovah and his, you know, Judgment Day, and they don't sing, they don't dance, they don't work, they don't do any of that. They just sit in a quiet room all day and just, you know, talk about their beliefs and the day that Jehovah's punishment hits humanity and all those who ain't Jehovah's Witness will pay for their sins against Jehovah and all that kind of stuff. And I was enjoying it and then I heard that they didn't believe in the Trinity. I was like, I didn't know what that was so it really didn't bother me. But yeah. And then I did also hear that their religion came from a guy named, uh, what is it, John Smith or something like that, a white guy, so, yeah. Kept doing that for a while, and I just, you know, decided it wasn't for me, because I, I don't like hating people or telling people that my God's going to punish you if you don't do so, and so I don't believe in all that, I don't, no. Nah. So, yeah, then I did that for a little while. I was studying that, then left that, of course, because, yeah. Then so many years later, I joined Christianity, which, I uh, just want to say it. Um, y'all religious beliefs are pretty much the same. Because I went to, well, to church and became Christian, and... Basically, all the same stuff that was done in the uh, Jehovah's Witness Temple is the same thing that's said in the church about the wrath of Allah or God or Jehovah. And then Judgment Day where God's only saving those who follow him. The rest are going to some type of eternal punishment. And if you don't get saved under that God, you're screwed or something like that. You know, only difference between a Jehovah's Witness and a Christian is they don't believe in singing or dancing or praying or anything. They believe all that's way too much to thank God for stuff. And then I learned as a Jehovah's Witness, you can't get a blood transfusion from anyone that's not in your belief. So you can't do it at all because they believe, you know, it's your time, it's your time. Go, don't disrespect a lot or, you know, Jehovah's will. If he wants to take you, let him take you. It's not your place to tell him when it's not your time. And then, again, they can't celebrate holidays. They can't celebrate birthdays. They can't do nothing but go to their kingdom hall, study, and mingle amongst the people that believe in what they do. I was like, damn, this is wild. Went to church, basically heard the same thing. And then I met one of my other, a couple of my other Muslim friends. You know, they was cool. 
went to their kingdom, man, I went to their temple, had some good experiences, except one time I went there and then I learned that they're not fond of Christians because of the slavery and the fact that Christianity came out of slavery. And they're like, oh, all them African Americans are, you know, or all them Asiatics are sitting in church believing them slavery taught lies that the white man put in their head, how dare y'all know better, and y'all still gonna join that slavery religion anyway, I was like, oh boy, and then you got the Christians in the church hating on everything except what they believe, you got Muslims hating on everyone except what they believe, and then Muslims heavily hate white people because slavery, Jehovah's Witnesses just dislike sinners in general, I'm like, this is just dumb. But anyway, so then one time I went there and met one of, I guess, one of the head teachers or whatever. Even though I was Christian, I still tried to show our love because my thing is Jesus never taught to hate people. So I tried to go over there and give her a hug. And what she said made me so angry, I almost smacked her ass and walked out that damn temple. I'm not even going to front. I almost did. Because I tried to go over and give her a hug, and she said, and then mind you, this was a Muslim in temple. She said, don't touch me. I am, the, I am the wife of Allah. You don't touch me. You're an outsider. You're not good enough to touch me. If I was any other, new, if I was any other person, man, we, we would have had a problem in there. But because I'm, as a Christian, trying to respect my homie and his family's belief, I let it go. But the way I tried to hug her, she said, don't touch me. I'm too good for you. Don't you touch me. You're an outsider. You don't even belong here. And she literally had the nerve to say she's married to God. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So then I talked to my friend about that, and I'm like, hey, yo, what's up with the chick wearing all that green looking like a giant booger? What, 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 what's really going on with that? And he was like, oh, oh, you mean sister so-and-so? I was like, yeah, he's like, oh, don't worry. She's like that to everybody. She thinks she's too good for her own damn kind. And she thinks because she's one of the higher teachers that she's better than people. And her family runs the temple, so she thinks she's the... Sh I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I see, I see. But yeah, I was just like, interesting. Interesting. But yeah, so that's pretty much my little spiel. So hope you enjoyed that.